Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Uber Russia campaign in Europa Universalis 4. So, we've got uh, another colony finished, uh, another one on the way. And it's working out pretty well. We've got, you know, some people here. Is it just me or would this little, this little thing make more sense if it just said the number? You know, like... Just say the number! Like, why, why do we have to hover over the slider, you know? Like, it's nice that you can see it over here, but like, why is it a slider? Like, why is it this bar? It doesn't... I don't... I don't get it. What's the purpose of it? I mean, it's like one of those things where you would... You would hover over it one time and see that, oh, I have to get to a thousand for it to become a city. And then from then on, you know that it takes a thousand. You wouldn't need the slider. The percentage filler thing. Weird. Of course, Yefrosina here is never going to die. We want Vladimir to be in charge as long as possible, but Yefrosina... Yefrosinia... Because apparently, Yefrosinia is apparently a man. I don't know about that, but... Apparently he is. Okay. Somebody had asked a little bit ago why you have to core your colonies. Um, if they're on the same continent as your capital, you have to core them. If they're overseas, you don't. And the reason for that is that you're getting 0% autonomy provinces, no distant overseas penalty. You, you only have to pay half price to colonize them. But it seems it's fair. I mean, you need some balance in the game. So... We finally get to break free of the man, Muscovy. Our war reparations end in February of like three months from now. We're down to 70 ducats in debt. We're down to 1.15 war exhaustion. We made it through it. It's okay. Granted, it's been almost, what, 60 some years. And we've barely expanded at all. But, you know, we've got really good, really good national ideas. It takes time. Okay, what's this all about? Let's we just declared war on Novgorod. Good for them. Denmark have honored their alliance. Okay. We want to gain mercantilism or make Kazakh like us. And gain diplo power. So, lose mercantilism. Which isn't... I mean, arguably, mercantilism is pretty useless for us. Wow, it's at 26%. Why is it so high? I think we just gain it. I mean, it's a pure gain or you take a loss. And I don't like losses. Yes, you can have access. Sure. Let's see, Muscovy gets weak. And then we attack him. Also, we're waiting on Nogai's Truce, which expires in right now. Hey, Diplo Points for Mercantilism? Sure. We want local defensiveness permanently. I think we already have a fort guy. We do. We already have a level 1 fort guy. So let's let him stay at home. That way, Trotsky... Perm... Managed to overpower their oppressors and throw off the shackles. They've declared independence. Hey, sweet. Harold from Perm. I, uh... Let's see. You're Jewish! Perm is Jewish! Why are they Jewish? What the hell? Okay, uh, improve relations. We will vassalize you. We have an ally! Yay! <laughs> Troitsky. Where's Troitsky? Oh yeah, that's, that's totally gonna get sieged at some point. Apparently we found an engineer living out there. 248 people, one of them is, uh, yeah, why the hell is Jew why is Perm Jewish? They're only, only have, um... Oh, that just defected to Sabir, interesting. Oh, that means Sabir inherited those troops. Wow. So, okay, but, I mean, they, they, are, they have a province that's orthodox, it's their capital, it's the only province they have, and they're Jewish. That's great. <laughs> that is amazing. We're gonna vassalize them and then annex them. And just, that's all we're gonna do. Very simple. No point in attacking. Maybe they'll even convert the province for us. 
Can we zoom in and see? Is there an active missionary? What is that thing? No, it doesn't look like there's an active missionary, but... Alright, we'll improve relations, we'll offer them an alliance. They're not going to be friends with anyone but us. Um, sweet. We still owe 34 ducats. We're rolling in the dough. Picking up a lot of inflation, though. I think after we get to Tech 7, I'll start paying down inflation again. But the sooner we get to Tech 7, the sooner I can unlock two ideas really quickly. And then we can get that standardized currency. Detroit Ski. Just got damaged. Just lost 50 people. Alright, it's rare enough. I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, we could send one regiment out there. That would be fine. Let's do that. Zok has declared war on Sabir. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I want to do the same thing. You have no truce with them. Actually, it's expiring... Yeah, it already did. So, if I... If I attacked Sabir... No guy would not join. Hmm. I just want to keep on colonizing along that northern top part. Sabir's only tech 5, so we have a 3 military tech advantage if we attack them. Let's wait until these two fight each other. Like, let's get their armies dead. Sabir's apparently down here in Arsari. Sabir has how many troops? 6k. You know what? I think we might be able to just sneak in there and do it. Just pretend like that... Uzbek Particularist Army doesn't exist. Look at that, we have uh, one force limit available. I'm gonna make one cannon. One whole cannon. The value cannon. Let's get our uh, alliance with Perm going. Oh, the Theologian. Oh, we already hired him at one point, that's right. Alright. Firm has decided now they want to improve relations with us. Firm would not join. Distant war. That's fine. I don't need your help. The drunken conquest of Agon. So we're just going to march around and go for the one province. We're going to go for two provinces. They're both one base tax. Firm wishes to enter into a royal marriage with us. We accept. And we'll keep improving until we can get them high enough to offer vassalization. So Sabir has 3,000 men. This is a nice little easy, sneaky backdoor war. We do have our cannon. Let's bring him over to Agon. Wish we had a better leader. We have a little bit of power projection for having declared war on Sabir. Cool. Muscovy's war is going how? They're winning handily. Unsurprising, really. It's Denmark, Norway, Muscovy versus Novgorod. I mean, good luck, Novgorod. Muscovy's gonna be a threat for a while. For a while yet. Shall we take the military tech level now? We'll get the tactics advantage that'll help out with sieging. There's really no reason to hold off on it. We'll take it. Look at that, we're actually ahead of time on military attack. Nice. Only by one year, but still. We can loot provinces. This is true, but there's not much loot to be had. We're talking like a couple ducats. Only these two provinces can be looted. Alright, might as well. Did we not loot it? We did. We just didn't see the pop-up. Alright, Yefrosina. 
Do your worst. Siege it down. Repay all loans. There we go. We're debt free. Let's call Dave Ramsey. Hey, nice. We'll take the men power. Our fortress is under siege. Okay. The life of a steppe warrior. Reducing the attrition that they take. And yet they're still suffering 4% anyway. Well, that's interesting. Does that mean that the minus 20% is not working? Kind of strange. I think maybe because they're suffering attrition due to scorched earth. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing it properly. Unit weight. Because they're not... I don't know. That's weird. Whatever. Alright, we got our war goal. I don't even think we're going to need to fight them. I mean, we could, and we can desperately use some prestige. Let's, I'll tell you what, we'll finish this siege. Um, wow, why is the unit weight so high? Damn Arctic province. Whatever. We'll suffer the attrition anyway. It's not going to be that much attrition. If Ursina will take control. And now... We'll march around, go fight his army. And actually, if he's willing to surrender now... I'll just take these two provinces. I mean, the war score cost is, like, tiny. Look at that, 7 and 7. It's only 14 war score. He should be willing to give it up pretty quick. Okay, the posh the population. I feel like 250 colonists, that's probably worth the money. Even though now we have to immediately take out loans again. I want these two things that I have claims on, thank you. I also want your money and I want war operations. Actually, I wonder if we could do you think we should just vassalize this guy? 69%. Maybe we do. I don't know. I mean, I... Um, it wouldn't be horrible. Nah. Nah. Vassals are silly. We just want Perm. Perm's the only one that matters. If we did that, we'd end up fighting Kazakh, and I don't want to fight them right now. I just wanna I just wanna let my war exhaustion come down. We still aren't down to zero war exhaustion. Relax. People are saying in chat that I should have vassalized. Doesn't matter. Because we still have war exhaustion. We still have two provinces to convert. We still have like, there's, just, there's no, it's just, we were, we have to expand frugal, frugally, intelligently. We're going to answer trade power. And now you're going to become my vassal. No, if will be forced to give Muscovy 10% of their income, they will cede one, two, three, four, five provinces. Again, Muscovy is just, they are unwilling to expand at a reasonable rate. Alright, Perm is now our vassal. Cool. Muscovy's rival to Sweden. I'm telling you, Sweden, we're supposed to be friends. Enemy of enemies, there. I'll improve relations with you again. Give you a chance. Make sure no guy still likes us. Our colonies are growing, that's good. We are not converting or coring yet. Very cheap. These things will be not very difficult to convert. We do need to either have an Inquisitor or Positive Stability to do it, but... We'll be able to convert them, is the important thing. Poland will give land to the Teutonic Order. What? Poland will end their overlordship over Moldavia? How did the Polish lose to the Teutonic Order? Wow. 
Wow. That's so strange. Alright, so let's check out Muscovy. They have zero manpower, 20,000 troops, tech 8. They have two of our cores. Sweden has rivaled Muscovy. Now we are totally friends. Come on. We have every reason to band together against the Muscovites. No guy would not help me in a war against him. They would totally help me in a war against Kazan. Apparently our truce is already expired with them. That was quick. Hmm... I could take back Perm and give it to my vassal. They've never, uh, actually, you know, they did convert it to Jewish. They would totally convert this to Jewish for us. That would be sweet. Reconquest of that. Go. Come at me, bro. We're not surprised to learn that Kazakh has joined us. Muscovy's warned Novgorod. Well, they are rather damaged. I will say that. How's our force limit? Still nine. Colonies are growing. Things are looking pretty good. I have to say. He's too busy with his war with Sabir to pay any attention to us. Tell our vassals to be supportive and have them hopefully come over here and join us. Hey, it's a level one Inquisitor. Awesome. That will be really handy. That should make it easy to convert these two provinces when we finish coring them. That revolt risk, though, is a little bit concerning. Let's let them suffer at least through one winter. Before we worry about trying to go in and fight him. Yay, we're dead! Thank goodness! We're 565 five with a 234. I don't care, man. Vladimir. Vladimir all day. He's 34. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. We need Vladimir. Alright, we're gonna bump our stability back up because we can. Um, he produces so many points. Uh, it does mean we have a pretty crappy leader now. Shall we try rolling again? We have a little bit more than we did before. Let's try again. Ugh. I mean, it's better. Technically. Technically. I mean, I'm just saying. It's not that much better. But it is better. I was I was really expecting him to die. To, uh, what's it called? We're gonna need to move into here and be prepared to attack that army after the winter. After he gets himself really nice and weak. Probably wait till like Mar um, March or April, and then we'll attack him. Of course, he could also succeed in his siege, which would stink, but. God damn it, 14% chance, are you serious? That's just rude. We could assault it back. How much I guess how much are we getting? 0 0.06. Mm, yeah. We'll spend a little bit of morale just to prevent that war exhaustion. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I will see you. Hey, you lose inflation. Sweet. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.